Hello YouTubers, uh, Joe Kersey here on uh, Friday the 13th, September 13th of uh, 2013 at around uh, oh, 120, now wait a minute, wait, oh, oh, Paul's preempting me, I, I was going to, I was going to try to explain first, but nonetheless, uh, this is a, Okay, you've got it going now. Well, all right. Ha! <laughs> I was... I was going to start off by showing this thing stationary and then uh, shining a light on it, but Paul has done that for me. Very good. And uh, this is some sort of uh, Japanese cartoon figure that... Uh, uh, is solar, you know, it's got a little solar powered thing there at the base, and it sort of, you know, dances side to side to side to side, and, and, um, uh, it's like a comic book figure or a cartoon figure on one of their TV shows, I guess, and, uh, but this was used as a, uh, uh, some sort of prize in a, uh, sort of a hotel morale building thing. Now, this, this thing's going to keep 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 going on here for quite some time and I think we've you know you know extracted maximum interest on this now uh, you've you've all seen the golden spatula before and we've we've talked about the golden spatula award but you've not seen the million dollar bill here um, now this this was prompted by a hotel guest saying guest is kind of a misnomer isn't it since they're paying client uh, uh, anyway it was prompted by a, this fellow's remark on on the comment cards they leave out saying that <coughs> the uh, <coughs> excuse me the staff of this hotel is worth a million dollars and so they did one of these little morale boosting things where they gave everybody sort of this million dollar bill. Now, it occurs to me that given the, uh, the current Federal Reserve, uh, you know, let's, let's just electronically create electrons to buy bonds program that's been going on and keep interest rates at zero levels. Uh, that this may well indeed be what our currency looks like in a couple of three years. Now, now you know Zimbabwe's uh, currency actually did look like this a few years back, but they adopted the U.S. dollar as standard currency, um, or at least used the U.S. dollar as a backup to their currency and printed the new Zimbabwe dollar where they didn't have quite so many zeros. It, becomes cumbersome to try to count all the zeros, doesn't it? Particularly without commas. So, um, I think we have this to look forward to, perhaps. It will be unfortunate, but I have a feeling that's what's coming. And then, and then we have the, uh, uh, the National Housekeeping Week Awards. Uh, here, uh, you've got this sort of sports water bottle and uh, an Ohio State sort of, you know, insulating thing for your can. Well, your drink can, anyway. And a keychain. And, and a keychain. I thought that was something you'd like you'd wear around your neck for some employee ID sort of thing. Which, uh, Well, so that that's sort of been Paul's little haul, so to speak, at the at the at work here the last couple of weeks. Um, he's off uh, today and the next three days. He's got a doctor's appointment here uh, for his blood pressure on uh, Monday after Monday. Monday afternoon. So uh, at four in the afternoon. So. Uh, that's in the offing. Uh, today's been sort of a standard day for me. You know, got up, 
about six, read the Wall Street Journal online, uh, did a little email stuff, and uh, then uh, Paul and I watched a little youtube -y stuff, and that's been about it. So uh, I'm going to leave you with the image of uh, our new currency. That that's going to be about two or three years from now, guys. And then uh, the the bear, the bear getting increasingly agitated about the fact of U.S. currency dying and U.S. inflation increasing. Doesn't, seems like the bear doesn't really give a damn, does he? That's not a U.S. citizen, is it? Well, no, well, he's in, <laughs> he's from Japan. And they've been having problems longer than we have, so. So there it is, guys. Bye-bye, YouTubers. There's our little world here. Alrighty. Bye-bye.